Hello and welcome to a revolutionary Auto Express test. These days, book a flight online and you're often asked if you want to offset your carbon emissions. But when it comes to your car, how much carbon does that actually produce? Well, with this car here, we can actually test that on the road. And this is the piece of kit that can tell us. It's made by Lysander and it's called the Ecolog. And in essence, it's just a very high-tech trip computer. It's plugged into the engine management system, so it draws data directly from the engine. So what we've got here on the screen are all the emissions that are coming out of the vehicle. But the most important one from, from our point of view is this one, the CO2 readout on the right. It's this purple graph you can see here. Now what you've got here, at the white line, where the white and the green change, is the line that shows what the car's actual claimed emissions are. Pressing this button here, what you can bring up is an instant readout of what's going on. Measured in, this measures CO2 in grams per second. So as soon as you move off, you'll see the graph starts to climb. So we're going to take the car for a drive to see what actually happens when you're out on the road with it. We drove quite smoothly and quite sort of economically there by just using third gear, fourth gear and quite sort of light throttle openings. And we actually received a CO2 reading which is way below the actual average figure from the manufacturer. But you'll see that as we sort of drive um, in different conditions um, and use more throttle, this bar will go above the average reading. You can see very quickly that you go above the manufacturer's claims. Um, pretty much as soon as you pretty, touch the throttle. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And there we go, just, you know, as you change up a lot of our throttle and you get a peak in the graph. We're just about to turn onto the A12 and what we're, we're expecting to see here obviously is when we accelerate the um, reading is going very high very quickly for the CO2, instant CO2 outputs. There you go, you're well up into the green and the blue zones, very high CO2 emissions. You can see them hovering around sort of six, seven, eight grams, grams per second of CO2 being put out. So if we then have a look at, at the emissions over a kilometre, we just see instantly, there we go, the manufacturer's um, claims are, are around 130 grams per kilometre, but we've just seen figures of, of well over 200, now over 280 grams yeah. per kilometer which you know would be kind of you'd expect that for a sort of large v6 engine car or yeah. even perhaps bigger you know that's the sort of reading you'd expect to see and oh that would put you straight into the top top tax bracket for business exactly. users and yeah this is a very economical you know small 1.6 yeah. liter diesel engine in one of the you know most sort of popular hatchback cars you know on the on the road what this system also shows is well, how good the catalysts are at filtering out other emissions because you've got the C, the carbon monoxide readouts and the particulate readouts and the hydrocarbons and they're very, very, very clean. There's no, very little of those coming out of the exhaust and those in most cases are the more harmful ones. But the, harm, the other ones, the carbon dioxide and the nitrous oxide, are very, very high. They're well above the manufacturer's sort of stated aims. So what conclusions can we draw from this test? Well, whether you're a private buyer with an eye on CO2 emissions or you're a business user wanting to limit your costs, this system is potentially of huge benefit to you. And what about the Focus itself? Well, here we have a car with a claimed CO2 output of 127 grams a kilometre. At best, we did much better than that. We got less than 70 grams a kilometre on a couple of fuel cycles. At worst, that rose to over 400 grams a kilometre. Overall, we think we were averaging about 170 grams a kilometre. That's a lot more than Ford claims. It's just like the fuel economy. What we've found with the MPG is that you find yourself doing, you will never match the claimed economy figures. And that seems to be the case with CO2 as well.